Hello children. So let us start our today's English period with a beautiful, a meaningful quote. So what it says: You and only you are ultimately responsible for who you become and how happy you are. Very right, children. You and only you are ultimately responsible for who you become and how happy you are. So what you should do? You should believe in yourself. You should believe in God. Think positive. Work hard. And what ultimately will happen? Success will come definitely to you. Right, children? Success will come, and you will be happy in your life. Okay, children. So, keeping this in mind, we will start our today's uh, video, today's lecture. So, what we are going to do today? We are going to solve the pointers, and we will go through the appreciation and figures of speech of the poem. Which one? It can be done. I hope you have done the work which I have given in last period. Done, my children. Yes. So, keep my hopes, and we will start. So, just open your textbook, children. Page number. Uh, what is page number? Forty-nine. Uh, okay. So, first of all, we will go through the appreciation of the poem. I hope you started learning the poem. Very beautiful poem and very small one, easy to learn. So, let us go through the appreciation. I will be giving you the appreciation, uh, figures of speech, and some answers in PDF form. that you have to write in your copy okay children so let us go through the appreciation so children in the poem it can be done the poet tells us that the man who says it can't be done misses all the fun he further says that all the progress and development were possible only because of the people who believed in the words it can be done I like this poem because it motivates us to be positive and makes everything possible that you wish for. My favorite line in this poem is the world would sleep if things were run by men who say it can't be done. To beautify the poem the poet has used figures of speech such as alliteration and inversion. to give rhythm to the poem rhyming words such as aloof reproof star car fundan etc are used okay children so this is all about appreciation now we will go through the figures of speech now figures of speech okay let us start mm. uh, which line uh, second stanza first line in solomon pride he stands aloof so in this line uh, what is the figure of speech figure of speech is inversion because the word order is changed for poetic effect the correct word order is he stands aloof in solomon pride okay now come to next stanza had he the power he would efface the history of the human race so here figure of speech is alliteration because sound of h is repeated for poetic effect okay uh, sound of h is repeated that's why okay now come to uh next uh, next leave one stanza and come to next stanza no telegraph no telephone we would linger in the age of stone again it is alliteration because sound of n n and t are repeated for poetic effect okay children no nor n and t both uh sound sounds are repeated for poetic effect so that's why it is alliteration and uh, come to last stanza that is the world would sleep if things were run by men who say it can't be done so here again it is alliteration because the sound of uh, w okay world would were sound of word w were and s s are repeated for poetic effect okay that's why it is alliteration so these were the figures of speech for the poem and the appreciation okay now we will move towards the pointers to come to children next page number 50 answer the following questions in one sentence each who misses all the fun the man who says it can't be done misses all the fun who does the title of the what does the title of the poem say title of the poem says that we can do anything we wish to what does the man who misses all the fun do the man who misses all the fun remain unfriendly and distant uh, and not get involved in anything 
he greets every na- new venture with criticism and negative comments come to next question um next question why does he miss all the fun he misses all the fun because he remains unfriendly and distant okay now next one what would he do if he had the power to do it uh, if he had the power he would what he would do he would wipe the history of the human race what examples of man's progress have been given in the poem the invention which are the uh, man's progress examples given children examples are uh, example which are the examples given the examples of man's progress given in the poem are radio motor car street lights telegraph and the telephone right yes okay now last one what should human beings do to make progress what should human being do children human beings should have a positive outlook towards life which will help help them overcome their difficulties and face fears and certainly help them to go ahead in the path of progress path of success okay children so these were the question for the answer this were the questions uh, for question number 1 answers for question number 1 sorry now question number 2 and 3 uh, this uh, in this two questions uh, there uh, means there you have to form the groups and uh, list a few articles of everyday use discuss how they can be improved okay okay so what is question number 2 that is form groups now children uh, due to this uh, situation now we cannot form the groups right children so that's why this two questions you have to try on your own okay take uh, help from the google or discuss with your family or uh, in phone you can discuss with your friends and you can frame the answers for these two questions okay so question number 2 is what form groups list a few articles of everyday use discuss how they can be improved just try you have to uh, find out few articles of everyday use you can take any articles uh, which are using in daily in your daily life and you just uh, discuss that how they can be improved okay what are the use of this articles and what improvement can be in, done in them okay for example now see like uh, we can say in mobile phones okay now we are using mobile phones so even though the mobile phone is owned by almost everyone everyone uh, is having mobile phone what happens is that its battery life is pretty less so it would be feasible if the battery life sustains for a longer time so it now we are no, lots of different types of mobiles are available the battery life is increased but then also uh, we are means lots of people are facing this um, uh, problem of battery life so you can find out any solution to this problem so that battery life sustains for a longer time so in this way find out some other articles which are used in your daily life and uh, what improvements can be done in them okay just discuss with your friend and family and just try to frame the answer again next question number 3 also form pairs uh, discuss the and prepare a list of things which can be and will be done in future list of five things which can be and which will be done in future spot the modal verbs there in your answer okay spot the modal verbs like for example uh, we can say that uh, uh, cars will be traveling through in future we know we don't know now what will happen in future just imagine that uh, cars will be traveling through air rather than by road anything can happen okay this imagination people might take trips to the moon for a vacation okay we could have floating homes on water people would be skating or cycling to their place of work okay this are the future predictions right children so in these sentences you have to find out the modal verbs uh, like we can say modal verbs used in such sentences are may will might could would okay so in this way you can find out more sentences uh, which uh, which can happen in future or okay or which will be done in future and you just find make the sentences and find the modal verbs in these sentences okay understood yes and you know about the modal verbs okay we have seen the modal verbs i have made a video and we discussed about the modal verbs go through them and find out the modal verbs okay okay now question number fourth one which is the fourth one complete the following sentences using your own ideas okay this is a kind of open ended answer open ended answer you can write there uh, you have to complete the sentences like i can they can and we can what you can do what they can do and what we can do 
ओके लाइक यू कैन राइट आई कैन सक्सीड दे कैन ओवरकम देर फेस पियर्स सॉरी दे कैन ओवरकम देर पियर्स नाउ वी कैन कॉन्कर द वर्ल्ड और वी कैन राइट एनी थिंग इट्स ओपन क्वेश्चन यू कैन राइट एनी थिंग लाइक आई कैन स्पीक फ्लूंट इंग्लिश ओके दे कैन कम टू आर होम ओके इंडिया वाले वेकेशन दे के कम टू आर टू आर होम और वी कैन राइट वी कैन गो फॉर बर्ड वॉचिंग ओके इन दिस वे यू कैन फ्रेम योर आंसर्स फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ओके यूज योर ओन आइडियाज एंड फ्रेम द यू कैन राइट मोर सेंटेंसेस ऑल्सो फ्रेम द सेंटेंसेस इट विल बी अ गुड प्रैक्टिस फॉर यू ओके सो इन दिस वे यू कंप्लीट द पॉइंटर्स नाउ वी विल मूव टूवर्ड्स a project is given there that you have to do on your own okay what project is given see first one you just discuss ah huh? you have to frame the or own answers very easy one uh, what is first one hmm. think carefully for a minute jog your memory and recall all the things or objects on which you have seen wheels write them down okay just think Uh, very simple one like cycles cars trucks trains in this way you can find out various things in, in which you can see the wheels like toys national flags national flag chair okay you can find the wheel skateboard motorbikes bags wherever you see the wheel just uh, frame the answer just find out the things just recall and just uh, find out the names where you can see the wheels okay now question number 2 now uh, talk to your friends or elders refer to books and read them read about all the objects on which wheels are used list them how many did you miss out on in your first list why okay you can go through the various books and list down as many things they can find with you can find with wheels and uh, you, you make a time limit for 1 minute and uh, you, so that you can list down more in this way just frame the answer okay now come to next one uh, the wheel which was probably invented more than 6000 years ago is thought of as one of the greatest technological advances made by man right yes why do you think the wheel is so important in human civilization just find out why do you think okay like we can you can write the wheel was made during the stone age period it was the beginning of the revolution you have seen in your history uh, the uh, invention of wheel yes children so wheels helped the early man to transport goods from one place to another and thus began the trade the business they happened wheels moved slowly at first and caught momentum first it was a slow phase then it caught the momentum got the speed today we have progressed so far just because of wheels that is why Uh, we think the wheel is very important in human civilization right wheel is a very important part of our civilization so we cannot imagine our life without wheels uh, means we can uh, we use the wheel uh, means there are use of wheels everywhere right children okay so that's why it is a very important part of human civilization okay now come to question number 4 can you imagine life without wheels no never right to so try and think of Uh, what life would be like if there were no wheels around just try so we can write like i cannot imagine my life without wheels things would all be done at a very slow pace there would be no technological development and we would not have reached the moon and other places without wheels so in this way you can frame your answers just imagine life without wheel just think what would happen if there were no wheels around you the yes, children you can frame your answer just find out and try to frame the answer yes now question next one have you seen how wheels move on different surfaces like sand gravel grass or a proper road okay what are the differences you see so gravel means children is small fragments of rocks on railways in which you have seen the small uh, small small fragments of rocks that are called gravels okay so you have to just um, uh what it is given what if differences you see when you ride when you move wheels on different surfaces like sand gravel grass on a proper road just experience it yourself children okay you just move the uh, ride the cycle there just move the wheel on different surfaces and you can 
uh, frame your answer okay you experience the difference while riding on different surfaces using a wheel okay find out next is what are the games play or uh, games of play activities entertainment that use a wheel yes you know this you can frame the answer that way you can do mm. the last one seventh one write about the various wheel like objects you see at home in school or on the road just find out the various wheel like objects at home in school or on the road okay uh, make a table and give the heading there uh, make the make the column at home in school and on the road and just list down the items where you can see the wheel like objects okay and complete the project okay a project on wheels it will be a interesting part to do so you have to do it okay complete it without fail you have to do this you will enjoy this part and also complete the pointers okay children so i hope uh, you understood the poem okay and whatever we discussed that also you understood if any problem you can ask me hmm? just try to uh, complete the pointers and complete the project also okay children so till next period take care bye bye